All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. What a hell of a week, right? Uh, I think last week, last Monday or Tuesday, when I did my video, I had my facial hair, and then after that, I knew because I said last Tuesday, I think, that I was going to the Million Mega March on Saturday, which was a resounding success. Of course, fake news terrorists tried to say that only like a few people went, but clearly that didn't happen. It was like two fifty k to five. I think the personal estimate was around five hundred thousand. But it was definitely 250k to 500,000 Trump supporters. And uh, yeah, I mean, my feet hurt. I spent like 220, 215, 220 dollars. Most of it, the vast, like 200 of it went to train tickets from Amtrak. So this shit is expensive. And I'm like, okay, that's like a trademark <laughs> filing fee for one class. So, and I, I really ultimately realized, yeah, we really do need infrastructure. We do need billionaires backing us. And that's just it. Like, why is the GOP billionaires not, like, fucking helping us out, right? Especially financially, you know? Like, this whole thing is really a scam. So, we got a lot to talk about. I'm on Cerno's Twitter because I don't know what his fucking problem is, but he's seriously gaslighting people. And, on, you know, um, let's see, the archive.fo is still... Oh my god, I don't know why archive.fo is so slow, because I really do need to archive, like, because uh, I'm putting together a list, you know how AOC wants to put a list? Well, I'm going to start putting a fucking list of people's, like, fucking treason, and it's, like, really starting to piss me off. Now, what's interesting was, uh, Mike did a uh, tweet attacking the fake news, of course, because obviously the fake news don't like him. Well, what was interesting was they tried to conflate his name with Nick Fuentes. So that's then that made me realize that's why Nick Fuentes does not want to go after Mike Cernovich because th those two, even though they have different values, they have a common enemy, like we do, right? The fake news terrorist media. So it's like, well, you know, let Mike deal with that. All right. So basically, you get to just leech off of uh, Mike. So you know, and that, and that's in Nick's unique case. In my case, it's going to be obviously a lot different. I'm going to refresh this again because this thing's going crazy right now. So, you know, I can do it, but Nick does not have the flexibility at this time to do so because, you know, obviously it's about, you know, tactics and stuff. So I'm going to wait a little while longer. Ah, yes, here we go. Uh, all right, we're going to use this one. Um, yeah, we'll do this. All right, uh, we're going to do this. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I didn't realize. I forgot. I forgot. I have to turn on my proxy too. So let me um, let me actually turn this on before I do anything because I don't have to edit my stupid video to uh, you know um, you know edit out my IP address or whatever. See, the thing is, I'm not playing EverQuest anywhere. I, mean, I probably got my fix. So I, I I'm I don't even use the proxy except when I do my videos here. All right, I think we're uh, currently in Brazil. We are in Sao Paulo. All right, so this got retweeted by uh, Scooter Downey. I'm personally, I mean, I'm not only legendary energy is actually very based. I'm not sure why he thinks this is a good idea. This is a really bad. It's like, why are you attacking your fellow Trump supporters? Like, I get you want to call out people cucking, right? But it's a more complicated than that, and then B, you're just like <sighs> you're. Like, do you see the problem with this? You're you're actually making the asshole bad people look cool, and then you're making fun of your own base. Like, I actually met this guy along with John Dutrois uh, at the night, like one of the Night for Freedoms. I'm not sure it was it was not the first one. It was the other one when they made a created hoax. So I met these two guys. Yeah, I always got a bad instant bad vibe from Scooter Downey because this asshole is just. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah, and that was it, right? He's like, well, what an asshole. But John was, like, totally cool. He even just followed me without even saying anything. Um, so, and, and it's pretty obvious why, right? I can figure, I can get a sense of who you really are as a person, man or woman, doesn't matter. As soon as I just walk, uh, meet you. Like, it's, it's like, God gave me that gift. And, like, and Mike Sermon just retweets this shit. It's like, well, like, what is your problem? Uh, and then here, I was looking down here, and yeah, this just this just goes like this just goes to show, like, 
you know, yeah, this guy, like he said himself, he's not a conservative. Uh, he's like agnostic or something. So instead of just answering the fucking question, he, he just like goes off into like some other thing. I get those are people a day ask me if I accept Jesus Christ. It's a bit more tone deaf given how I grew up, but literally how evangelical Christianity works. Hello, about the fake anti Semitic uh, angle, just gross and ignorant. Just answer the fucking question. Right? And it's like, uh, and then he's, all right, let's just go over here. It's a quote retreat of a quote retreat of this one. This is deeply stupid controversy. Yes, guy, I'll come here as ready. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So, it's like, ah, uh, just answer the question. It's like, I'm just like so sick and tired of it. Now, at least he didn't like just go straight out whatever. But, um,. His statement doesn't even make sense. What do you mean it's a fake anti-Semitic angle? Are they even, it's like, what? You know, and it's not so much a fake anti-Semitic angle. The Daily Beast is just trying to <clears throat> portray him as just a bad Christian or an annoying Christian. And technically it would be true if, you know, if you're like those annoying Christian types. <laughs> I, what am I thinking of? Jehovah Witnesses. And of course, you know, he's talking about Muslims too, so... Yeah, it's like this is just like the kind of shit, and then and then the, the problem is he he tweets so much stuff that like all the stuff that he actually the gaslighting backstabbing it gets buried right, so it makes you think you're you're his you know, he's your ally. So these clowns. No reason that okay, I don't want to listen to that. So let's I'm gonna leave that there. Okay, I want to make sure I have the URL so I could add it to the list because we're gonna be building a case like a lawyer does. All right. So, yeah. So basically, great. I lost my train of thought. But yeah. Oh, why don't these clowns use their actual social media might to actually help Nick Fuentes in America first go to the rallies? That's the other thing too. Um, did I, I? Oh yeah. That's the other thing too. Like Mike seems to think that like this this election. Actually, maybe I did. I actually record. I must have recorded it. Let me actually take a look. Great, because it's actually because I actually don't have a link to the list that I'm compiling. Uh, my laptops. I really should fix up my blog website, but I don't actually use this site anymore. So, oh come on. He says Trump supporters are okay with Trump saying he won the election compared to Hillary and Stacey Abrams, as if it's the same. Like clear attempting to demoralize Trump supporters and our votes being stolen. I wrote 11, 16, 20, 20. All right. Yeah, because this time, because the reason I have to archive it because, is because if he gets ratio, uh, Mike always deletes it. So this is the bullshit. And funny enough, it does actually uh, record some of the um, comments too, but only up to a certain point because there's a, because that, because um, I'll say click here for war, it doesn't record that. So like like what the fuck is this right? He said this two days ago. Like wh what is this? He actually is saying it's the same. It's not the fucking same thing. Hillary was a sore loser. Here we actually had a, a vote stolen from us. This is the kind of dumb. And then what annoys me is like the fucking asshole commenters that agree with this stupid shit. This is the reason why I don't like Jack Posobiec. I don't like Ali Alexander, and I don't like Mike Sturge because all these fucking uh, f words do this kind of shit. Ali Alexander is actually the worst of the three because for what because he's really in tight with Jacob Lloyd and then obviously the plan is just to have keep tabs on Nick Fuentes and then eventually backstab him. Or worse, convert them to this dumbass shit. So yeah, I know I went into this, but the gaslighting is definitely gonna be a focus of my videos going forward, because this is because if Trump loses this shit. Yes, it's going to be the fault of the backstabber GOP, but it's also the fault of these gaslighting assholes like Cernovich and them, who refuse to fucking help us in our time of need. And on top of that, they always complain that Trump didn't fulfill his promises. Well, Trump finally did fulfill his promises, and they still won't fucking help Trump. And that pisses me off. So, you know, and he's like, well, just let, we'll, we'll have 2022, we'll have 2024, just let the Democrats have... Uh, no, you fucking idiot. If they can get away with this, though, then nothing will ever change. It's like, it's like, like they are all traitors, and like we have to 
fucking take a stand for it. So, you know. But Nick's going to extra... Um, he's going to actual rallies. Like, this... Starting Wednesday to Friday to Saturday, he's going to Atlanta, Georgia, to protest at the state capitol there, which I guess is... What is the state capitol? It's probably... Is that, is that actually Atlanta? State capital of... Georgia. Is it Atlanta? Oh, you gotta be kidding. It really is Atlanta. Yeah. <sighs> and there's another problem, too. You can't just just leave everything. You have to invade and co-opt everything. That's, a, that's another reason why I don't like the idea of just completely destroying the GOP. Because there are some actual Republicans who are working hard, so they need to be rewarded. But they get dragged down by the traitors in the GOP, like the ones in Georgia. They're completely working with the Democrats to screw everybody over. And that's why Nick Fuentes is doing his protests uh, there. Because as he said yesterday's show, uh, it's it's all fake. It's a fake recount. It's a fake audit. And they're hoping that people will just believe the headline news. So that's why they're going down there. I mean, I mean today's supposed to be the big lawsuit drop. So uh, who knows? All right. So anyway, that's the gas layers. I probably should go on to the other stuff. But uh, overall, you know, we had a very good success on Saturday. The Millie Mango March was great. Of course, everybody was there, including the gaslighting backstabbers. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, we'll have to deal with them one way or another. Uh, I'm already preparing, because I already can see the future. So, um, and then, uh, yeah, I get my own army up and running, and then we will purge this shit. We will purge it. It's kind of like how Groiper War went up against uh, TPUSA, and then John Jr. and Kimberly Guilfoyle. You know, remember that scene? And then she thought... It's like, you guys are all virgin, boy. And then we all got mad at her because, like, no, we want what we were promised, right? We're right-wing people. And it's just she didn't know any better. And then and then they're like, oh, man, what's going on? So, uh, yeah. But um, either way, uh, we will win out in the end. But uh, some very good news, additional good news, is that cryptocurrency is doing very well. So let's get right into that. Uh, so last week is being finalized at 16. Yeah, today's Tuesday, so interest for this week is not going to be shown. But I can guarantee it's definitely going to be higher this week. Like, crypto is just going berserk. Like, yeah, like, this is fantastic. We've waited so many years. I've waited since the crash of 2017 for this moment. And man, it has been one hell of a long way, but it's finally arrived. Um, so, you know... Can Bitcoin hit 500k to a million? I hope so. It's really going to be more about time. And who knows what the hell is going to happen with this election. So, I, mean, I still think Trump's still going to win. Right? But uh, the propaganda... Well, first, the propaganda is insane. Also, the news media has actually backed off. Is ha The news media and Big Tech has actually been backing off a lot. They're still trying to do what they can, but they're backing off a lot. Their, their gaslight's not as bad. Uh... Like surge in them though the fit the f right or the fake right because I can't say the word I really want to say you know I'm allowed one f bomb occasionally and I'm not going to use it today right but you all know what that f bomb is and um, yeah I'm beginning to think they're actually just like they have to be taking orders from somebody uh, in some form right you know the 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 tribe that I cannot name so uh, yeah. And I do think it's because they don't want an actual Christian country. So that's definitely gonna that's definitely gonna butt heads. And I'm just preparing myself now. Especially now that my game's coming out tomorrow. So we'll talk about that later. So anyway, uh Bitcoin, yeah, let's see. So Bitcoin dominance. You know, I just realized I haven't talked about this in a while. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? I mean we just we just care about the price. Uh let's see, Bitcoin's at 17 grand. I think it went as high a seventeen thousand two or three hundred, like yesterday or something like that. But so far, it's been very resilient. It, 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 like when it goes down, it's supposed to. It hardly goes down, at least when I check. So that's a very good sign. This bull run is already on its way. It's already on its way. Litecoin has made dramatic improvements finally, because this always happens. So Litecoin has finally just started skyrocketing. It's now at seventy two dollars and sixty four cents. My, my crypto holdings are singing, and uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. Um, 
You know, if I if things go right, I should be able to have like you know enough seven figures to buy, um, you know, my first apartment building in Tampa, Florida. All right, because we 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 need money. It has to be low. It has to basically be pa real passive income, because you know, as as I found out personally, I always knew this intellectually, but me actually doing it, it's like, yeah, it took a lot of time, a lot of physical effort. I wasn't able to do anything else, and it costed me money to go to the Million Manga March. And so it is with everybody else. There's a reason why the shit libs pay protesters to do this shit. Trump actually also pays people too. Um, like, I remember, like, it was very uh, subtle. But there were a couple of fake news terrorist outlets that were saying that Trump was paying protesters. This was after Trump started starting up his rallies after the disaster of um, what's that guy's name? Brad Parscale, right? After that disaster rally he had, I think it was earlier this year. I mean, shit's been happening. So, uh, so yeah, he and he knows about central casting. He's actually mentioned on The Apprentice occasionally. I started at Central Casting, which is a background acting service since nineteen. 21 or 26 central casting that time. So, yeah, we all know if you're into acting or anything related to that, yeah, you definitely know about central casting. Uh, yeah. Uh, we are casting again. Yeah, I was wondering, you know, this lockdown stuff is really problematic. So, they have an office in Atlanta, Georgia as well. They also work in New Orleans. And of course, you have uh, Hollywood and New York. So, uh, Let's see. Oh, they don't have the thing. Maybe it's under about. Where is about? About us. Oh, there's also history as well. Uh, they started in 1925. So these guys are like, you know, you know, um, what's the word? Ancient. Um, ah oh man, I can't. I can't. There's a nice word for like old guard, but I can't. I can't remember it right now. So yeah. But yeah, uh, I, I don't remember why, why I ran it, went into that tirade. But yeah, but the um, central casting is good. Trump's hiring background, and um, oh yeah, let's talk about protesters. Yeah, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. You know, eventually people like even if they want to come, they just can't because they have to go over to work and stuff. And then we automatically have to see territorial control to the shit libs who are better funded and better well, better trained. Right. Even during the American Revolution, they had to pay their soldiers, obviously. Right. In fact, uh, I actually um, I actually was reading that they had to offer a lot of bounties and bonuses and land grants because people didn't want to join the army and they had to join the Continental Army. Otherwise, the British was going to you know, run, all, run everybody over. So, you know, this infrastructure and financial stuff is very important. Right. Because I'm in a unique position where I can literally be anything and be anyone in the movement. So I have to figure out which is the most high impact th thing that this movement desperately needs that I can do that no one else is really doing. And it's infrastructure, it's cryptocurrency. So, you know, now, so rather than tell people, which I'm happy to do, that's why I do these videos, I also will, you know, just show you how it's done. The problem with that is it's kind of too late by then because like, oh, you were right this whole time. Well, it's too late. The markets are crashing. Everything uh, too high our price. Crypto has crashed, right? But, you know, that's just how it goes. So eventually people will listen. People do listen, actually. So anyway, dog coins at you know, a little under 370 million market cap. So overall, it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, a lot of green across the board. Of course, you got a couple of reds, but it's a lot of big green. And as always, like Litecoin has a lot of catching up to do because when Bitcoin is at 19,520K, Litecoin is supposed to be 300 to $350 because that's what the prices were at the 2017 peak before it crashed. So Litecoin is way undervalued from that perspective. It's also possible that people really do think it was overvalued. So maybe it'll go to like 150, 200 bucks, which is still decent, right? It's still very decent. When Bitcoin hits 20K, right? Let's just make the numbers even. So when Bitcoin hits 20K, I guess if Litecoin's 125, 150, I can't really complain, but it's still, it's like, eh. 
you know, come on. Because I really want Litecoin to hit 10 grand. If Litecoin hits 10 grand, I'm a multimillionaire. And then I can immediately, you know, start buying property. Um, let's see. So uh, equity markets have been skyrocketing as well. Uh, they have all, Everyone's got all sorts of things. You know, coronavirus vaccine, Joe Biden's winning, no, Trump's winning, blah, blah, blah. My personal take is just simply it's a combination of congressional gridlock, which there won't be because the Democrats will be in full control. The lockdowns are definitely not ending. We'll just make up new excuses. And number three, you can't count Trump out. Like, he's got a very strong case. And he's got, and I think, I think, like, we know it's going to SCOTUS, but the problem is I don't understand if, the longer this drags out, the better for Trump or worse. So I think based on the Roosh V forum that I also look at for, that's actually where I get most of my news. Uh, Cause you know, Nick doesn't tweet that much, obviously. And he's gonna be tweeting even less cause obviously he's gotta go to the protests. Um, they actually said the longer this drags out, the better for Trump. Like I don't, like, I don't really understand it. And then I know that there's a December 14th deadline because that's when the state electors have to actually elect somebody. So the way it works is the more the more that the vote is contested, which is obviously what Trump is doing, what we are want to do, the better it is for us, because then it goes into some sort of weird procedural thing and then blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then ultimately it results in the state legislators of every state to vote, uh, to vote for you know, who's the next president. And that's where we have the advantage because it's all Republican and GOP owned, which is another reason why I'm kind of hesitant to just say we must burn down the GOP. We don't have to burn down the GOP, not yet, right? I suspect people will definitely want to do it if Trump actually does lose, um, which is why we're doing the protest because we have to make the F word trader GOPs who don't have Trump's back make them back Trump, all right? So, um, that's why we, that's why in my case I'm still going to be because I am of the opinion of the barbarians and invaded Rome that we're not really barbarians. We have to co-opt and take everything over, right? Because I already know how this story plays out. We did it with the Hollywood boycotts, and the Hollywood became super global H word paused, right? And then they come up with all this left wing shit. Why? Because conservatives said we are not going to watch your movies, and Hollywood's like, okay, go fuck yourself. Well, we're going to make the most paused liberal stuff because that's who's buying our movies. The movie tickets and i thought oh yeah that's bad <laughs> also it's about the infinite game liberals know how to play the infinite game conservatives do not that's something i have to actually start teaching uh talking more about so but nick's uh, nick and the group crew so far definitely seem to be on that path and then of course i know about it so we'll have my army and then mike uh f i wish i could go up Mike Kukovic and, you know, the fake grift right, you know, Walt Chamberlain's possibly. You know, I kind of like Will. He's actually a nice guy, but he's definitely not going to be America or Christian first. Like, I don't know what his deal is, but, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to go up against them. At least I will, with my army of Aeons. So, anyway, the markets have been going straight up. So, of course, today's got to be a down day. I mean, it's supposed to happen. It has to be a pullback at some point. I think cryptocurrency technically already has been having their pullbacks. I remember at one point, uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but Bitcoin did drop to like 6,500 or 6,000, 16,600. And then it just went straight back up to what we see now. So, you know, people are ready to buy. Like, there's so much pent up demand and angst. From all this stupid lockdown crap they're just like you know what i don't care i just want to buy everything and that's great that's great i just want to make we need to make money i need to make money i don't want to name names but there i don't know if there might be watches but i know some groipers like i call i'll just call it nick's inner circle are in a crypto too so if this goes up they make money along with me and i'll be making the most money uh yeah it's like you know because we're gonna need everything for what it is to come. Obviously, it'll be a lot easier if Trump gets reelected, which I still think is going to be around 90, 95%. So, yeah, you just kind of have to have faith and not let fake news terrorists me or demoralize you and gaslight you because that's what they're doing. And then, of course, the Mike Surges of the world. That's why I'm particularly mad. Um, but I'll get famous off of seditionist tower defense. We'll build our army. Um, 
Because I'm getting a lot of interest for this game. Uh, it's mostly through the Steam platform, which is, I mean, actually, it's other, it's actually third parties scraping Steam data, and now people are actually going, "Wow, I want to play this game. I want to hear their story." So, because it, it's always about the story. That's why my Hollywood John Truby screenwriting uh, stuff is going to be the magic bullet, right? The Holy Grail. <laughs> So, yeah, but anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, mixed MacBook Pro, I don't have an Apple. Uh, uh, I don't have, yeah, that's right, I don't have Apple computers. Why you should be excited for Joe, okay, more fake news terrorism. Uh, Warren Buffett dumped at Costco. Uh, that's actually surprising. Um, I mean, I can understand because of the lockdown and Amazon's taking their share, but Costco is really good. And they have, and they do stuff online too. You can actually buy from the Costco.com website too. So, yeah, basically Costco, Walmart, and Amazon—they're all giant competitors. So, and I like going to Costco. I just don't go because, like, it's you know, it's basically like a whole day. You know, it's basically like a field trip to buy food. Uh, no stock options here. I'll oh, stop using Ledger X. All right. Uh, JMC coins at three to four. Uh, nothing new there. Uh, it's you know because the major is going up, you know percent based proof of stake coins are gonna get killed. Four hundred four is now down to sixteen to twenty one. Like this, like they're not even waiting. Uh, it really should be a little higher, but yeah, it's gonna be painful. Two by two is now down to three to four. Still, it'll hold out for a little while longer. Rix is down to five to six. It looks like it's approaching four. Of course, one hundred coin doing very well. All right, because I already saw this. I already saw this, and even Mitch, right? I guess now we're former partners because I haven't heard from him since. Yeah, he's like, well, don't don't compromise our projects. Don't make new coin. Well, that's what you fucking did, all right? And you know we can't be making percent based proof of stake coin because the price is not stable. And lo and behold, it's still stable at thirty two to thirty eight, right? With very solid buying interest, right? Speedcoin is supposed to do the same thing. It's getting more stable. The main problem is because I set the parameters five speed coins per block, it's gonna be a while before there's enough speed coins for people to enjoy. It's it's like a weird limbo. There's too there's too much there's too little supply, so the price is too high. So people are like, yeah, I don't want to deal with it. And then there's not enough supply because you can't mint it. Right? People don't want to hold 10, 15 coins. Right? If they want to hold 10, 15 coins, they would hold, you know, 10, 15 Ethereum or Bitcoin or XRP or uh, what's or Litecoin, right? Or any of these other majors. So it's like, well, it's like, well, why would I want Speedcoin? So it's in this weird limbo. The good news is Speedcoin is going to basically become 100 coin eventually. So that could take another year, could take two years. But, you know, in the meantime, obviously, it will just, I'll keep maintaining it. Because this is my order here. You don't see that much supply for sale either. So it's it's just going to be like this for a while. At least a few months, several months. But as cryptocurrency goes up, uh, people might actually should start should start spy, uh, buying Speedcoin. And it's also in Seditionist, right? Let me see. So, you know, I, pl I, I put in uh, the free auto marketing stuff in here, too. To get people acquainted with cryptocurrency mining, because I figured it all out. All right, just trust me. I'm like, I'm like, I have the same IQ as Donald Trump, maybe five to t five to ten points less than him, because I'm not like he's very creative in certain ways that I'm not, but I might be more creative than him in other ways. So I don't know how you want to measure that, all right? So yeah, so but it's gonna be good, and more importantly, look how stable the price is. All right, that's exactly what I was going for. And it obviously worked like a charm, all right? Because would you rather have these coins or this, all right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, what, what are you going to do? So anyway, 100 coin, 32 to 38. Oh, I already said that. Very solid buying. Uh, speed coin is 43.2 to like, I guess, 55. It's definitely way underpriced, but, you know, uh, you're just going to... I, I guess in this, I, it kind of just sucks because I really need extra money from Speedcoin because it's supposed to. The Speedcoin and 100 coin are, um, whatchamacallit, supposed to replace my income from income loss from this. 
So, but yeah, but I think right now, uh, do I really want to reveal how much I'm making a day? I'll say that my money per day has been recovering. Uh, and now that Bitcoin's at 17,000, let me do the math in my head. Yeah, so I'm actually almost recovered, funny enough. I just, uh, so, like, I'm actually almost recovered. Uh, so I'm now almost breaking even. So instead of losing, let's say, $80 a day for, you know, two, two and a half years, right? And I knew that was going to happen. So that's why I have significant savings. And I still do, uh, which is dwindling. Uh, now it's down to like around minus 10, minus $20. Now I'm not going to sell my crypto because I know Litecoin's going to go up because crypto is going to go up. So I'm probably going to wait till around Christmas and then sell. Because I have to, because A, I want some money, but I do need to sell later this year at the last possible moment for my taxes right because i don't want the irs to get mad at me it says you made no money this year except your stock market dividend we're going to audit your stupid ass it's like oh and you're a trump supporter it's like all right he's like yeah. all right there are two people i don't screw with god and the irs all right that's how you should live your life everyone else yeah you can probably mess with all right because they're not god and they're not the irs all right so yeah but yeah overall Personal crypto, we are very solid footing. So we can get Trump back in. It's gonna be four years, and then at that point, I'll figure out what the next move is, depending on what happens with my game, which we'll now talk about. Um, actually, before we go any further, let me see. Are there any Bitcoin personal hit 65k is nowhere fast taking over? Actually, I do want to read that, not because of the price prediction, which is all right, but because of this network effect. We we, this is still about fundamentals the more crypto adoption because i have to realize because i'm actually going to send this to my new buddy in nick's inner circle um so he definitely is going to need to know this uh you'll generate steel could probably uh, exploit for uh wow <laughs> uh, yeah uh, that, that's a nice little bug. I, we discovered a bug that will let us generate seven million dollars. Omega lol. Yeah, coding coding is hard. Coding is hard. Foreign bank says Japan will need years to issue a digital yen. Um, really? That's uh, that's highly unusual. All right, we'll read that. DeFi zero says I says a bubble says Binance CEO. I uh, I'm not gonna read that. It's not a bubble. Like, how can you say it's a bubble when you have this shit going on? No, the bubble has already been bursting. If anything, we're supposed to be creating a bubble. That's what the bull run is. Uh, I'm marking a new parabola. Uh, this was five minutes ago. I see about 50 seconds. I get crypto away further. Like Jay Clayton's tenure. No, I don't care. Uh, that's a pretty hot babe. Uh, white babe. Bitcoin gives four reasons why Bitcoin will hit 22 grand next. I mean, who knows how high it will. It'll just keep going. Uh, for advantage magazines, oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna read that. Okay, so I think that's good. Uh, I'm starting to get hungry. I, I, I hate this. I'm always hungry. All right, um, so what did I want to talk about in my game? All right, so first and foremost, let's see. All right, let's go over here. So first, I put, I've actually actually added a couple of extra perks for Speedcoin. Because, well, yeah, I need to promote our cryptocurrencies, but also um also the game balance actually required that i add more um reward for the player because i actually played my own game finally for the first time it's like yeah the progress is too slow so um i mean I'll, like i think i have a pretty good pretty good balance because what i don't want is people obviously playing the game and they get everything on you know day one that's not how it works like you're supposed to be playing this game for at least a couple hundred hours to several hundred hours and then you get your joy out of it and of course it's free so you know like i really doubt that so the complaints i should be getting would be just specifically about yeah this is actually a problem with the game i should go fix it kind of thing like legitimate criticism not like i want everything oh my ass is butthurt oh the world's blowing up oh, i'm so black pilled and it's like okay i don't want to listen to your dumb loser you know talk but I do want to be different from Mike Cernovich because Mike Cernovich's philosophy, which I thought was the right way, was the right way to live. Let's start using John Truby. Let's start using the actual Hollywood style thinking so we can win in the end. 
right? The way to live, right? I thought the appropriate way to live and deal with your customers, well, they're complainers, we fund their money and then, you know, go tell them to go fuck themselves. I now kind of realize that I always had a weird thing about it against it. It's like, I could put my finger, it's, it's like, yeah, I, you can't be doing that. Really. At least not all the time, because it lacks empathy. Like, it's like, you know, this, this guy probably is having a hard time and you just want to be a massive asshole to it. It's like, the guy might kill himself. Like, that's really bad karma, so don't do that. All right? You know, like, if, if you're going to be, like, this so-called Christian, well, can you, you know, fucking help people out then? You know? So, uh, that's what it is. And, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you have to just instant... Because I instant block, you know, trolls and bots, too. Right? So... You know, I'm not saying don't do that, but like when it comes to your own people, it's like, yeah, and it really does come down to say the way Ali Alexander treated me versus how Nick Fuentes has treated me. Two very different points of view, even though both are Christian, right? Though I actually think Ali is not a Christian; he only knows of God, right? That's clear. That's the way he behaves. So I don't know why I'm getting into that, but basically Nick Point has passed the test of faith in Christianity, Ali Alexander did not. And I'm going to start calling it a term called good faith. So, you know, I have to eventually trademark that too, uh, as it'll be a very central point of my story. Because, you know, I'm still evolving and getting better as a Christian, right? Because that is the path, that's the destiny God has laid out for me. So, and now I'm beginning to see why. So yeah, so there's that. Gonna so I'm gonna add extra just to get everybody used to doing cryptocurrency, and then of course you know obviously promote 100 coin speed coin. But you know I wanted to make sure that people will make money off this, and I don't want you know this shit you know happening like this where the thing goes down 90 percent. Oh excuse me. Basically, I want to. I still try because again we want a fairly profitable stable coin. Right, so you know where is the optimal risk and reward? Uh, aside from that, this game's gonna release tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be free to play. I do have the soundtrack, which is like five bucks, and then um, yeah, people are gonna really like the soundtrack. So hopefully, if people really like the game, they'll buy they'll buy the soundtrack. Uh, pause that, and um, yeah, it's gonna be good. So before we move on. Let me see. Oh no, I just realized I am on display capture, aren't I? Yeah. Now I have to watch my entire stupid video because I don't want my purse. Oh, God, this is so annoying. This is so annoying. All right, what is the timestamp on this? 38. Oh my God. Oh, today's video is going to be so damn effing slow. All right, 38 to. 50 timestamp. Well, I'm obviously going to have to close that because you weren't supposed to see that. See, that's why it's nice to do this recording rather than live. Oh, my God. Because I had to do display capture to do the, um, to do the, uh, thing. All right, hold on. Uh, all right. Uh-huh. So we'll just do that. I have to watch my stupid video. It's already 39 minutes and 15 seconds. That's that's all. That's a lot for me to go through. All right. So, um, all right. So our thing is 147,699 impressions with 3,090 visits. Uh, most uh, like nine. Let's see. 90 percent of the uh, clicks go through go to the seditionist tower defense game. So, uh, so it's looking very good. It's looking very good. People have already wish listed both uh, items, and uh, yeah, uh, because of third party scraping uh, websites like GameFAQs and Metacritic, yeah, I'm gonna get even more free advertising. So this is like the best way to, you know, not only advertise crypto but to get our ideas out there, right? You know, like this is literally this is my how my personality works. I am a master of all trades. And it's all about synergy and harmony, where everything works in congruence to give you everything that you want. That's how I operate. But it's hard to express that to people, so I will show you, right? Just look at, look at, uh, I, mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but like, because it's more about just getting you to understand the way I think, 
right? We have free auto marketing for crypto. So instead of me paying money, people do it for me, right? I mentioned this before, right? Then I got America First ideas and getting closer to God and getting people to forgive their mom and dad, which I'm going to do this Friday. That's why I'm not going to, well, A, I just don't have the money and time to go down to Atlanta, Georgia. But then two, like I've been delaying my, you know, salvation. I have to tell my mom I forgive them to their face, right? I, I put that off last week, but I'm not going to do it for this week, right? And I know Nick's already on the case, so I, I don't think he would, if I, to, I mean, I don't think he would begrudge me that. So we'll get our America first ideas out. We're going to get our Christianity first stuff out there. And it's in this game. That's why the story is so good. I'm not going to play the trailer, but if you listen to the trailer, you'll know that this, you will instantly feel that it is different. Like you won't even be aware that there's a, there's a game here. You're thinking, I want to know what this story is. I don't care about the game, even though I might like the game. Right. And that's the point. Because ultimately, the person who's going to actually save us is actually Jesse Lee Peterson's teachings. So that's, you know, and, I, and then I'm going to eventually call him to a show or just simply contact his guy and then just ask him, you know, would he be willing to do some voice acting work? I, and I know 100% they're going to say yes, because, well, A, it's the same thing as what he already does. And then B, he doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> and I write all the lines. And then he can modify them, because obviously he knows better than I do about what he teaches. So we'll do that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say except we'll find out what happens right, when this game is released. And that's also why I have to go back to hiding in my Twitter, right? So now it's just back to liking and quote retweeting, no more replies, and then just, you know, cruising. Because because uh, they just banned Jaden McNeil. So I better be careful, right? Because I cannot get deplatformed. If this gets deplatformed, it's over. It, it, it's a, we, we have no we no longer have any access to culture and then we're all going to have to go full ape shit mode uh, which is temporarily going to work but it's still going to be so hard to get our free speech and ideas out there so yeah so there's the, so that's you know seditionist to our defense and uh, let's see God, this is going to be such a pain in the ass to review my video because I literally had no idea that I was still on display capture instead of Brave Browser capture. So you probably saw all my shit. <sighs> That's how it goes. All right, let's end on, let's end on the crypto stuff uh, as usual. Former Bank of Japan says Japan will need years to issue Japan coin. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Uh, concern about digitally entering a massive outlaw from private bank deposits. Interesting. Uh, the former head of payment settlement systems in the Bank of Japan said that the country will likely need several years before it can issue Japan coin. Uh, is Katero the CBDC potentially triggered mass alpha for private bank deposit and now chair of the group bank looking at building constantly infrastructure for digital payment? Are there's no point issuing a Japan coin if it isn't used widely? Stating <clears throat> How to ensure private deposits and a cent and Japan coin coexist? You don't want money rushing out of private deposits. On the other hand, there's no point in issuing Japan coin if it's not being used. Yeah, actually, the uh, SEC and the uh, central bank, the Federal Reserve. Oh man, oh, my, I think it's my hunger. The Federal Reserve, the American, the American central bank. That's what we call it here said the same thing. We want to use crypto, but we need to ensure privacy, which makes sense because you don't want everybody just looking up your bank account details on the blockchain. That's <laughs> that's kind of makes the thing pointless. So what, how do you do it? So it's somewhat counterintuitive, but if you slow down your thoughts and you really sit down and think about it, it makes total sense why it's a problem. But it will happen. We will get Japan coin. We'll get, we will get America coin. We will get, you know, Central central bank issued cryptocurrency because it's just su a superior option in every way, and that's also good because with the stupid election bullshit, you know I want uh, our voting system to do the same thing as Russia does: blockchain based voting. It's incorruptible. It requires zero trust and is impossible to tamper with. Right? The only way you can tamper with it is if you make the obs obs outside observers not present. Uh, or you just simply steal someone's cryptocurrency keys, which is still very difficult to do. Uh, I guess the only danger would be how would you generate the voting keys? Because then that would be the one form of, you know, whatever. But 
Chances are Russia probably already thought of that. So, well, what? It's like so far. It's so. It's pretty far in the future. Obviously, maybe five, ten years out. Could be sooner. I mean, because everyone's angry, which is good, at the election fraud. So maybe, maybe we will implement something like that very soon. But uh, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when. In order to mitigate the risks of Japan fuel private deposits. CBDC fuel private deposit alpha, the Bank of Japan could consider putting limits on CBDC on by single item of seed. Could also could, could trigger conversion fluctuations in the other form of the It also says the Bank of Japan and the private sector are working together to make digital sense more convenient. Private sector has a key role to play in making various settlement platforms interoperable. Yeah, I mean, we already, this is basically what, this is kind of like what DeFi or decentralized finance is. So the private sector will come up with better solutions. We don't have to do everything at once. It's it'll just it's progress, technological progress. Things will just slowly get better over time, just like software, right? That's just how that's just how it works, and it's great. And it's generally pain free. You know, the people that go through the pain are the people who code this stuff, like me, right? I went through a lot of pain making this game, but I now have overcome it because it made me a better Christian. You know, especially when it came came to dealing with the bugs, so I would get angry, frustrated, and depressed. Like, oh, I'm never gonna be a, uh, get this game. I'll never get the idea. It's like, ah, oh. it's like, wait, I know this is wrong. And there's one day I was like, you know what? Why don't I just ask Jesus Christ to take that away from me so that I don't get frustrated and it grant me clarity so that you know I can just fix the bug and move on. It's just like that. I. I one day I came across a null reference exception bug, which is the most annoying bug in coding ever. And I was like, oh yeah, huh, yeah, I'm not upset. And yeah, I totally fixed the problem super quick. So it works, it works, you know. Christian programming is like a really powerful tool. So, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna provide me and my company and anybody in, the, in our movement a significant advantage over our, you know, more, atheist slash agnostic uh, competitors. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna do good. We're gonna do great, actually, eventually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is happening very quickly. I don't know why this guy said years. They're already running Japan coin in 2021. If you remember from a couple of videos back, um, China coin is already out there. So is that worry about kind of like trying to get a first member in CBC? Oh, I don't think a single year will dominate the world. No, it won't. Um, because just look at, just look, <coughs> just look at fiat currency. Choking on my slide. Look at fiat currency holdings, and America is only like twenty-two to forty percent of all paper money or something like that that floats around the world. Uh, digital uh, digital currencies of countries will reflect that. So it's, it's going to be the same thing. And yeah. Japan coins already coming out as a test pod in 2021. It's, that's literally around the corner. So I don't know why this guy said it'll be years. I think maybe he means a fully functional thing will take years, but the but the start of it is already here. Like, do I know why I think Bitcoin's gonna hit 500k to a million bucks? This is why. Japan coins already coming out sooner, and this guy, for some reason, uh, was a exaggerated how long it'll take. China coins already out there. Right? I already did the video on that. 300 million dollars worth. Everyone's already going into crypto. So once this thing explodes, you know, our bank accounts better explode with money too. And it will. Just how much? The Harrison Ford uh, uh, negotiation tactic, right? How, how much? How much am I, which means how much am I getting paid? Because when, because he didn't want to do, um, God, what was the shitty one? The Force Away. He didn't want to do Episode Seven, right? But they needed him, so it's like so. And, and the Harrison folks said this in the interview. He's like, "Well, I was like, okay, well, how much? Well, that's that's how he's always negotiated. So I, I like Harrison Ford, uh, and yeah, he's been wanting to get killed off in Star Wars forever. So they finally gave him his wish. So yeah, that's unfortunate. That's just how it goes. Bitcoin price will hit sixty-five k as network effect has finally taken over. Uh, Mike Novogratz is obviously a super pro Bitcoin guy. Uh, for those of you who don't know who he is, Twitter server on whether one should buy Bitcoin tracks the likes of Elon Musk's bull run publicity mounts. Uh, okay. Uh, oh yeah. What is? 
I kind of don't like this picture. It's a little cucky and it's just, eh. Well, we'll, we'll go with this one because this looks a lot cooler. So we'll put that over there uh, for the thumbnail. Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Uh, we'll hit 65k to a combo of low supply to the buyer major runner. An increasingly popular Twitter bay on North Sandy Overgrass, who is well known for his prominent Bitcoin blog, is told at Macy Williams. Oh, that played uh, Arya Stark not to hesitate buying the cryptocurrency. Bitcoin, okay. Williams has released a poll asking whether or not she should invest in Bitcoin. At press time, the verb was slipped 47. Oh, that's really good. 47, okay. The poll soon caught the attention of famous Twitter among them, Elon Musk. I bought more Bitcoin last night. It's going to 20K and then 65K. I see tons of new buyers and there's very little supply. It's an easier trade here than an 11K, so yes, buy it. Yeah, that's why I mine cryptocurrency because... It's, it gets too expensive, and you know, for for those a couple of you that are still with me after all these years, I mean, you know why I mine cryptocurrency. It, look how expensive it would be to buy any of this. Like, you're still good. You can still buy Litecoin for really cheap. You can buy Dogcoin for real cheap. You know, some people actually like Ethereum or XRP for real cheap, right? Actually, yeah. Uh, in my case, uh. I just find buying XRP very difficult. Also, I don't like buying centralized cryptocurrencies. But that's my preference. But again, any major cryptocurrency that's been around for a while, the top 100, or top 50, whatever, top whatever you want to use, you know, you'll do just fine, right? So me, I still like Litecoin as always because it gives me the best uh, spread. It gives me the best master of all trades kind of deal where I get. I get a lot, a lot of everything. I don't want to be the master of one thing. I want to be a master of everything. So you know, flexibility is very important to me. That's actually how America built herself, right? Uh, her ability to be flexible. Now, if you're too flexible, you get what we have right now, which is too much shit livery. But that's why you know we're trying to correct that. But if you become too inflexible, you become like China, right? Specifically 18th century China, where you think you're on top of the world, and then one day a bunch of foreigners come in and gobble your shit up. And then you can't do anything because the whole world was going ahead of you when you were isolating yourselves. Now, I've told this story uh, before, but it's definitely going into my game too, because a, a lot of us conservatives especially do not actually know this. And that's why they have a lot of problems. And now we're trying to compensate for it. So, you know, I don't want us to go through this again. So I will just show people and tell, teach people how it's done. Most of the school, I'm here, uh, okay, 50% circled. So should I go long on Bitcoin? Yes. Also, she obviously made a lot of money off of Game of Thrones. So, I mean, even after taxes, I mean, technically she lives in Great Britain, right? So that's her tax jurisdiction. So I'm going to assume she lost 50 to 60%. So she could still pluck down a couple hundred grand. You know, I I lost thirty thousand dollars during the coronavirus bullshit earlier this year. I already did the video on that, and I was and I plugged in another twenty twenty thousand twenty five thousand into the stock markets. Oh, that's the other thing too. I didn't mention my stock portfolio. Yeah, my shit's singing right now. You know, Remel's up a lot. I've already made triple my triple profit on Remel. I already made double profit on Region Financial and then Microsoft. I mean, I don't care about Microsoft. I only bought 35 shares. 35 shares, which apparently is worth like 8,000. So it's like, uh, I, I, I put a lot more money in Microsoft than I like, but you know, whatever. Everything's going up. So, you know, I'll make all my money back. Uh, and then, you know, I'll get, I'll actually get very good cash flow. I'll, and then literally, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. I will be playing with free money, but and next time around, I'm definitely gonna put in like a hundred to two hundred grand because I assume I'll be a multi-millionaire. So it's so as a percentage, it's not a lot of my money. It's like one to two percent, uh, and then I'm just gonna make millions off the next crash. Because now I have a new rule: I will never buy stocks unless the thing crashed. All right, because that is when the risk is at its lowest. Because uh, it can't go any further down except to zero. So that's that's the only risk, but there, that's always a risk, right? Any stock can go to zero. Cryptocurrency will not go to zero. That's why crypto is better than stocks or even real estate. Though real estate is still way better than stocks because you always have to worry about what can go to zero, right? Stocks can go to zero. Crypto and real estate cannot because people actually need to use it for something. There's a use case. Stocks actually... 
I just realized there is no use case for stocks. It's literally just money chasing money. So yeah, it could it, it can go to zero because no one uses it for anything else. Huh, you learn something new every day. Uh Steph Elevira, blockchain shoes. Now with that being said, yes, Microsoft produces stuff and all that. But here's the thing, because of the way the system's set up, Microsoft can declare bankruptcy while quietly transferring all their assets to a different shell company and then screw you over. But they keep everything. So again, it's not a very legitimate system. Now nobody very few people do that except the tribe that I will not name or hint at. But they do that all the time. And it's very scammy. And it's unfortunately legal. Maybe someday we can, <coughs> someday we can make it illegal. Grayscale is trying to buy up increasingly large amounts of Bitcoin. It has 500,000 Bitcoins this week. Wow, Grayscale owns that much Bitcoin. Coindown, a bigger reason why been known for the lack of Soviet media attention has received, despite the LEX. Everyone's just occupied with Trump in the election. Which is, this is actually really good. This is very good. This means that it's. When the media does get around to looking at this, it's gonna hit people in the face. Like, oh my God, buying friends, we gotta buy, we gotta buy, we're gonna miss out the boat, we're gonna miss the fucking boat, ah, ah, ah. right? It's just like my family member nags my uh, family-in-law members. <laughs> so, and that's what we want because we want people to go crazy with crypto, they just buy everything up, and then I don't know. It's gonna be a tough judgment call. Like, I don't know how long this bull run is gonna last, right? History usually says it's one year. For a bit, because basically the one I've, I'm already starting the one year clock now, basically. But I'm thinking maybe it could go beyond one year, because it's gonna always gonna be a little different each time. But of course, there's a risk because if I'm wrong, everything crashes, and then we get a lot, we earn a lot less money than I than I would have liked. So we're gonna have to see. Like, I think I really might sell my crypto when Bitcoin hits 250k. Um, I, if I have enough nerves of steel, I might really wait till 500k, but I, I don't know. We're, we're definitely going to have to just take a look at it uh, week by week, day by day. Despite uh, levels of joy by the token longer than two weeks in history, it is not your specific brother that has caught his ride in 28k. Yeah, uh, that's actually true because look at the Google trends, right? It's not going to be the frenzy as it was. So that's so this is really good. We're, this thing is literally in its infancy. There's going to be so much money, so much money. Behind the scenes, our institution that were proved unlikely supporters coming around the idea of future in Bitcoin stars as major investment assets. Among them was City. Oh, Citibank is now getting into crypto. I have a December twenty. So that's next year. Bitcoin price is up to three hundred eighteen thousand dollars. Wow. When I did my Bitcoin prediction video, I still said five hundred thousand. Okay, yeah. All right, we're good. All right, we're good. I'm gonna become a multimillionaire if things keep proceeding as planned, and all of you should be making uh, five to six figures. So you know, up to a hundred thousand to low amounts of hundred thousand. So as I, because I told you before, I started five hundred dollars on November sixteenth, twenty sixteen, right? And I made six figures with that. I'm still not gonna reveal it yet until. Probably, probably uh, when I'm selling off all my cryptocurrency holdings. And I'll tell you then what the exact number was. So, uh, yeah, we're right now it's a great time to be alive, even though the election stuff is still pretty tough. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to make insane amounts of money. I'm excited. Um, I renewed my lease for my apartment for one for another year. Uh, it expires uh, December 1st of next year. So if things go very well, I'm thinking I will not renew it and then I'll move to Tampa, Florida. The problem is I really don't want to move into an art. I don't like to keep moving. It's very annoying. So, but then am I going to have like 50 to 100 grand spare to buy a house in Tampa, Florida? And I have to teach myself how to drive. Cause I don't actually know how to drive <laughs> I'm in my late thirties, but that's because I was always poor. I live in New York city. So why do you need to learn to drive? Uh, so yeah, so I, I, I I've got to do stuff. And then of course, you know, um, we'll see what happens with my game. You know, it's definitely going to be a massive success because the amount of, the amount of interest in this game is kind of ridiculous. And steam seems to really like my game, which is great, which is why it's constantly, uh, let me actually see. Um, 
So I play tower defense here. You know, the, and the reason why I made it free is because I need to maximize the amount of people that are going to play the game. All right. So let's see. Savage tower defense. Uh, so I am here. Where is Bloons TD6? Oh, it's not even up here. They pushed Bloons TD6 somewhere. So yeah, I'm still re re uh, retaining my halfway decent rank, which is like close to the top. Like, I'm not sure how they do this. Also, they think I'm in Brazil, so that's why you're seeing the Brazilian Real here. Uh, module TD Sci-Fi Tower Defense. Yeah, the graphics on this look pretty good. Oh wow, this has... See, this is another reason why I don't want to charge people for it. Uh, why is this mixed? Windowed mode is not working. Well, my mode works. Actually, I don't have an option for that, but it's just full screen borderless mode. Oh, uh, where it was probably it was a pay to win game. You don't want to grind a bit. We're not even talking stuff to grind. So, if got, yeah, you just go check it on your phone and check it out in the field see if this version has been fixed. Oh, so it seems like the PC port of this game didn't go well. Let's see. What did, uh, so what did the developer say? We are saying about the we work on I hope you'll come back once again to check it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, my game runs well, so I don't have to worry about that. Solid TD, good TD. No devs for this game. Reset charge money for it and disappear. Not fixed entry from interaction with mods. Or they need to match the mobile app version. <clears throat> boy, boy, you only play the game once? What? What the hell kind of game is this? Play it once? That what? Well, it seems very unfinished. Yeah, my game is finished. It's just a matter of adding stuff. I don't know. This game looks finished. I don't know. No, weird. I don't know how. The, how do I, honestly, I don't know or understand how you can possibly screw up a tower defense game. It's like screwing up waffles or pancakes or French fries. Oh well. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read, or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from. Or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. So continue growing this channel. Alright, well, this video is an hour and three minutes long. I better sign off. Uh, I'm so glad I only do this once a week now instead of every day. Uh, so, and that's the nice thing too, because. This will help me get more fame and social media power and all that other stupid ego crap that I don't like. Um, but again, it's about leverage. And, uh, well, that's just what you have to do, right? You know, I would have been perfectly happy just being like, you know, just some random guy on the internet, just doing my own little niche thing. And then just play video games all day and host game tournaments. But that's just not how it works. You know, society, the galaxy needs me, all right? The galaxy needs you. So that we all have to play our role. Hey, right, I'll see you all next week. We're going to have a fun time editing this video to remove all my personal info. Yeah, that's how it goes. And I'm really hungry, so. See you all next Tuesday. Don't lose hope. Don't give in. Just don't listen to the fake news terrorists. Like, they're literally outright lying, right? You know, it's got, like, they're literally making shit up. Like Trump says, oh yeah, we filed a case, and then the media will immediately say, oh, they gave up and acknowledge Joe Biden the winner. It's like, it, it, it's it's so crazy just how blatant everything is. So anyway, lots of plans, one day at a time. I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching. And yes, if you have not bought crypto, start buying your favorite cryptocurrencies. The cheaper you can buy it, the better. All right, but like the, the train's already, the, tr the, tr the Trump train, just like the cryptocurrency train has already taken off. So... You want to get left behind? Well, all right. Well, God gave everybody a, an opportunity to free themselves. So you don't want to take it, then that's on you. See you all next Tuesday. Thanks. Judson Chan, GMC Coin, 100 Coin, <clears throat> Speed Coin, Seditionist Tower Defense, and uh, yeah, I think that's a good good thumbnail.